So we're here with the Montreat Land Care Committee to monitor for some hemlock woolly adelgid predator beetles that we uh, assisted them to release in the town of Montreat in the fall and winter of 2015. We hope to find Laracobius beetles in um, the majority of the sites where we released them last October and uh, we don't suspect that we will be able to find them in all of locations but our methods for monitoring are fairly crude so as long as we get a few we know that there's plenty more out there that we just can't access. When you see uh, the people with the sticks and the beet sheets or umbrellas, they're actually um, hitting the branches of hemlock trees to uh, see what falls down from the trees. So the beetles have come up from the ground. They were in the ground over summer and then they've emerged now that it's gotten colder and now that the adelgid is fattening up. And so they can just fall right off of the branches onto our um, beet sheets. And then we can count them and put them back after we've observed them. We, at this point, can only really rely on chemical treatment to keep our hemlock trees alive. And so we're hoping that over time, these beetles will allow us to wean our trees off of the chemicals and be a more natural and balanced solution to this hemlock woolly adelgid problem. Laracobius nigrinus is a smaller than a sesame seed sized beetle that comes from the Pacific Northwest and is a predator of the hemlock woolly adelgid out in states of Washington and Oregon and um, Canada and we have an adelgid here that's been destroying all of our hemlock trees but we don't have those predators that are keeping those adelgid numbers in check so by introducing some of those predators from out west they can establish here on our hemlock trees multiply and spread and we are hoping that they will help us to reduce the overall hemlock woolly adelgid population that is putting such a stress on our hemlock trees. We're just getting started but I would say that we found one on our second attempt um, so that's pretty darn good. We uh, have a lot more trees to look at but so far in our monitoring for this year we have found beetles at every location where we have looked. So that's 17, seven out of the 14 stands um, that we've monitored. We have found beetles at all seven of those stands. So, so far this fall, things are, are really promising, which is a, a great relief, um, especially when you think about the impacts that fire has had. None of the stands that we have um, been working on have been affected by fire. Uh, the drought has, uh, has prevented us from being able to move ahead with some of our chemical treatments this year, but the beetles are thriving. We found them in the Asheville watershed, which are really remote uh, Carolina hemlock bluffs. And so, and we found them on properties adjacent to the places where we've released them, which is fabulous. That means that they are finding new hemlocks and moving on their own uh, and getting established there.